Indiana Diecast Racing in the continuing Round 1 action of the IDR Open. Today's racing follows Group 12, and we have quite the Ford vs. Dodge matchup. On the side of Team Ford, we have the 1965 Mustang Fastback in that iconic Gulf paint scheme, and the Escort RS1600. On Team Dodge, we have the 1970 Challenger and Viper SRT-10 ACR. Pick a team now and share in the comments after the race if you got it right. I'm not picking anyone because I drive Toyotas. We're getting word from race officials that the track is clear, so let's go to the starting gate. Team Ford leads from the pole on lap one. Viper jets around the inside of turn one to overtake the Challenger. The Pony has a big lead, but the Escort is having lots of trouble. They stay spread out through the triangle, and Team Ford wins the first lap. The Mustang leads every second of this lap, and will maintain the pole position for lap two. The only change in positions coming from within Team Dodge. After one, Team Ford and Team Dodge are tied at five points apiece. Let's see how the Viper does starting outside the Mustang. He can't keep up and they get in line. The Challenger wrecks in turn two. The Escort gets held up on leg three while the Mustang and Viper rocket away. It looks like the Challenger was too fast for his car to make the second 180 degree turn and he rolls it on entry and slides all the way down the hill to the triangle. The Mustang runs another flawless lap and Team Ford will take the lead 11 points to 8. The donut by the Challenger allows the Mustang to build a commanding 5 point lead over the bottom two. Surely that'll be enough to put him through to round two. The Escort decides to stay on the outside for lap three. We'll have to see if that pays off as the Mustang has consistently been the fastest out of the gate. The Challenger spins his tires and starts out slow. The Mustang gets loose and he wrecks in turn two. The other three scoot on by and the Challenger takes advantage, overtaking the Escort. When the dust settles on this one, Team Dodge will take first and second. The Mustang tried to take turn two high, didn't have enough momentum to carry him around, and he just falls off the inside of the track. Good thing the Mustang got so many points early, because that wreck could come back to haunt him. After three, the Dodge Viper jumps out to a two-point lead over the Mustang, who still holds a solid three-point lead over both the Challenger and Escort. But the door's open for either of those cars to steal a spot in round two. The Viper's in no matter what, and Team Dodge takes a 15 to 13 point lead over Team Ford. It's an all Dodge front row for lap four. All the Mustang has to do to move on is finish the lap. The Viper gets loose and the Challenger is wrecked. It's chaos in turn two and the Mustang has left the track again. The Viper is the only car still rolling and despite seemingly being the cause of the mayhem, will be the only car to complete lap four. It looks like the Escort will earn points for second place, as judges have deemed him to still be on the track. The Viper got totally sideways, flips his teammate, and Team Ford gets caught up in the wreck. Amazingly, the Escort ties the Mustang in points, but the Mustang will move on as the higher seed. Close call by the Fastback. Team Dodge will finish with 19 points, over Team Ford's 16. Support a local library. If you've enjoyed the racing so far and would like the chance to see your own cars hit our track, I'd like to invite you to participate in the Westfield 500. Our next event is supporting the Westfield Washington Library here in Westfield, Indiana. For a suggested donation of $5 per entry, you can submit an unlimited number of your stock or unmodified cars. All proceeds will be donated to the library, and entries must be received by July 1st of this year. Racing will occur throughout the month of July, and videos will be posted here. This has been Jim D. with Indiana Diecast Racing. Check in again soon for more Round 1 action.